up it's Jessica welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me little talking video chit chat video where I get to talk to you guys cuz I feel like I haven't like sat down and spoke to y'all just like on a one-on-one -on -one basis in a cool minute and I apologize in advance if there's any noise cuz I'm like literally trying to get ready cuz I'm about to go somewhere um so yeah let's get started i'm not gonna be talking too much about the products because um i'll just leave it like somewhere on the screen where you guys can find it and yeah let's go well prime my face first but lately i haven't been priming at all i don't know i just haven't found a primer that i actually like so um i've been on the hunt for like a really good primer and i haven't found one yet but you know i'm still looking hopefully i find one that i like really really like i should have color correct i don't really need to color correct i just like doing it because i just feel like it's just that one step further into making your makeup look better all right i did way too much under my eye so i just came back from chicago not like too long ago and that was fun can't talk too much about it but that was fun it was a really short trip i just went on my own for some business stuff and i promise every, anytime i'm doing a talking video it's always some noise outside like i don't i don't get it so yeah like i literally have just been going 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 like non-stop it's been extremely crazy i just feel like i just i just been going like non-stop i feel like this is really bright I think that might be better. I feel like before it was like a little bright. But anyways, I just feel like I've been going, going, going nonstop since January 1st. This hair, I'm gonna have to put it up. But yeah, I just feel like I've been going, going, going since January 1st. And I was all planning to make like a, you know, like reflecting on 2015 and then like uh, just talking about my goals for 2016. And so I'm planning all of this and then I get sick, like, right on new year's eve day i get sick and actually i was happy that i was sick to be honest because it gave me a chance to just um relax because i've been like literally have been going 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 non-stop and sometimes you just need what am i looking for sometimes you need a moment to just like chillax um like sometimes your body will force you to get some rest and i needed that i needed to be forced to get some rest so the first, I think, week and a half, I just, like, rested. And it felt so good to just rest. And then when I got back, I was like, okay, I'm going to make the video. But then because I was sick, I got um, um, backed up on video. So I couldn't really, like, do the video that I really wanted to do. So I guess I could talk about a little bit of that this year. I mean this year. <laughs> well, yeah, I could talk a little bit about that now about my um just reflecting on last year i feel like last year was a year that really taught me you know if you trust god and you have faith then he will lead you and guide you in your direction and you know he'll just he'll continue to to bless you with you know different opportunities and stuff if you put him first and, you know, if you're not seeking, if the things of this world are not your main objective to obtain, which it was never my main objective to obtain, and it's still not, you know, um, he continues to show me that if you put him first, you know, he'll take care of everything, basically. This year, I just want to continue to continue to trust him and to put him first and really just... I know it's cliche to say to grow as a person, but literally grow. There's so many people who are who remain in the same position. You know, I, I look back when I was a teenager and I know people personally who are still in the same position they were when I was a teenager. And it's kind of just like, you know, we you got to grow. You know, you, I don't want to be in the same position. And a testament of your growth is a reflection of the previous year. And I can say from when I came home um, to become a stay-at-home mom, I can see the growth. Like I can see the transformation and all of that stuff. So I'm going to close the window because it's kind of loud. Um, 
you don't want to remain in the same position. Like, if you are stuck in the same position, you got to ask yourself, like, why am I still here? What can I do to, you know, what can I do to grow? What can I do to, you know, go to another another level? Like, you know, why am I still in this position? And I don't want to, I don't want to ever be stagnant. And I can say that from 2012, November of 2012 until now, I'm definitely not in the same position. And I'm not just talking about, you know, monetary things. I'm talking about mentally. It, you know, I had to, I had to go through something as traumatic as, you know, not having steady income in order to really grow honestly because income is something that is important to everyone it's our livelihood it's how we do what we do um and when you don't have that consistency that is a very scary position to be in like i don't know if any of y'all have ever like not had a job or you've lost a job or you decided to come home you know that's it's it's scary especially if you're in my position where you know it wasn't like we had the money for me to really become home all i had was and all we had really because it's a team effort we had the faith to know that you know if this is what god wants us to do and this is what he's tugging on our hearts then he will definitely take care of us you know i had to have that faith and that faith kept me until now, like I'm still, you know, I'm still here, you know, and that's, that shows me that God is, when he says something, he means it. He definitely will bless you and reward you if you practice faith. So many people depend on themselves for, for their livelihood. So many people, their hope is in their ability and anything can happen to you. So that's why my my hope is not in my own ability i have to trust in god and if you're new to my channel you hear me talk about god it's because i am a christian not ashamed of that at all i know one of the things that i wanted to accomplish this year was to continue was to travel more like i really want to travel more and be able to just see different people i think you know, it's so beautiful to be able to meet people in all different places. I will be doing some traveling. I'll be going to, well, I just came back from Chicago. I'll be going to Seattle, Paris, France, you guys. Like, I'll, I'm going to be in Paris this year. Crazy. Like, crazy. I can't even believe that I'm going to Europe. New Orleans, which I've always wanted to go to New Orleans. So I'm excited to, to just be able to meet different people everywhere. Of course, try the food because I'm a foodie. So, so pretty much that is my goal, just to be to to save more. Yes, I want to save more. So I have been doing that, discipline myself to save more. I don't have no extreme like I want to climb the mountain type of goal. I just want to be the best person that I can be, you guys. Literally, just the best person that I physically can be. I've been noticing this trend going around, which is not really like a fun trend at all, but it just like I've been noticing it a lot especially on YouTube when people do videos and stuff about a lot of people are experiencing like depression they're depressed and depression is starting to affect people younger and younger you know what I'm saying like teenagers preteens kids are experiencing depression and it's really it's really really sad that so many people are experiencing and battling depression these days and it's just a sign of the times if you really think about it you know people are going that's just that's just the way it is you know people are going to experience that you know and you know just to be real especially when you when your hope is in anything but God it's like how can you how can you not be depressed people fail you all the time if you're if your hope, if your gratification and everything else comes from a human or material things, things that don't last, you are bound to be depressed because you're going to be de disappointed a lot. And every human has been affected with depression. I've had depression. 
I mean, not depression, but I've been depressed before. You know, it, it's it's a normal thing, but to to continue to live in depression, that's not normal. With the cares of this life, you can become depressed. You can, you know, you can become overwhelmed. I notice a lot of people, especially nowadays, are depressed about money. A lot of people are depressed um, because of, you know, social media has caused people to become depressed. And it's just a lot of the, a lot of those factors that are causing people to become more and more mentally just disturbed and stuff. And I noticed that I know people personally, within even my own family, who have mental or just battling mental stuff. And it's sad. It is so sad. I guess my advice for depression is to take your eye off of whatever is causing you to be depressed for a second. And ask yourself, is it worth pondering on? Is it worth allowing that thing to affect your your thinking? Is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Like you need an you need an outlet. You really do. Prayer is my outlet. Just the other day, I wouldn't say I was depressed, but I was kind of down. Like I was really down, just thinking about like all the things that I was basically I was tired. I was overwhelmed. And I, I just started to just think about everything that, you know, we needed and everything that I wanted to do and everything that I have to do and becoming overwhelmed. And I just was like down and out. And I, my husband, like, you know, he talked to me, which helped me. And then I had to realize that, you know, you got to cast your cares upon God. You can't. We weren't built to handle all of the stress that we put on ourselves. And a lot of times we, we build stress, stress for ourselves. So my camera overheated and I don't remember where I left off, but I think I was alluding to social media and um, depression. And what I noticed is that with you have to be careful with social media because you are constantly on a daily basis, especially if you have like every social media, if you're on every social media platform, constantly, you know, just bombarded with imagery and you know people's life you know you're following these people on instagram you're following them on twitter snapchat you're also following them like on youtube you know you're watching their vlogs and you're doing all this stuff and you start to compare your life with their life and then you feel like dang you know i'm 20 years old i'm 19 or however old you are i'm this age and i'm nowhere near where this person is and you know i feel like a failure because they have all this stuff and they're doing all of this and I'm just still here. And that's a sure way to be depressed because you are basically causing yourself not to be content with what you have and where you are because you're comparing it to someone else's life. And you can't compare yourself and what other people have and what other people do. You can't compare yourself to them. You really can't. That's one way that you can be depressed, especially if you're constantly you know, making yourself, or, you, or you're constantly on social media. You have to, I, my thing with social media is I'm not really on it like that. The only social media I find myself on and not really even on like that is where I'm actually active is um, Instagram. Other than that, I just can't. Like, um, I just, I just can't, it's just not my thing and you have more peace really you have more peace because i'm not worried about what so and so said what they're doing what they're wearing what you know i'm I, I just don't care and you can focus more on your own life and what you have going on when you're not focused on what other people have going on and what they're doing for me i value my mental my mental state and my mental well-being more than anything more than anything else you know I'm I don't want to put my I don't want to put my mental stability in jeopardy and with these days and times so many people their mental state is just at it's at an all-time low it's sad it's sad to see but it's the truth and they're becoming younger and younger and social media I'm, you know we didn't really have it when I was growing up like when I was in high school I think they when I was in high school, they just started Facebook, I think. And I didn't even have that. But I couldn't imagine being 
younger than what I am in this time and this day and age with everything that's going on because it just keeps you constantly comparing yourself with other people you know you you become discontent with the things that you have you start to question your life should I be here I mean she's 20 she's traveling she's doing this she's doing that she has a house she's driving a Benz you know she has this that and a third and I'm 20 or I'm 40 or I'm however old you are and I don't have any of those things and really that's just a real that's a real way for the enemy to play with your mind he, he's gonna have girl be playing double dutch with your mind all day long and then he's gonna amplify the things that you don't have he's gonna make you look at that like look see she had look at the car she's driving and look at your car see she's the same age as you why don't you have that then you start getting yourself in debt now you're depressed because you can't pay your bills because you were so you know you were so i guess just trying to keep up with the joneses and you weren't content with what you have and that's a battle that anybody who's a human is going to have that battle and is going to have that struggle I'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do with myself real quick you're going to compare yourself with people it's just natural but the moment that you start finding yourself being discontent with what you have you got to stop don't allow yourself to continue to entertain those thoughts you cannot because you will become depressed. Depression just doesn't happen overnight. It's you entertaining thoughts. And once you entertain those thoughts, they become your mood. Your brain dictates your mood. You know, we're chemically based. And your brain di dictates your mood. So you start thinking all these depressing thoughts, you're going to feel depressed. And then in order to cope with the depression, people start eating depressive food. You know, food like... You start binging on sugar you start binging on fatty stuff like you start doing things that cope with depression and I'm sorry this is my personal opinion depression cannot be cured with medication it just can't it's a myth how can you cure something mentally with pharmaceutical drugs like you, you can't if you take them I'm just telling you this is my opinion so, I don't want nobody trying to try me in my comments, you know what I'm saying? I just don't personally believe that you can, that you can, um, cure depression with pharmaceutical drugs. If anything, it makes it worse, in my opinion, because then you're going to start having issues, you know, side effects that are really going to cause you to be depressed. Oh my God. And there's young people popping pills because they're depressed and x y and z depression whether we believe it or not is a personal choice it's a personal choice when you choose to feel when you choose to feel bad you will feel bad if you choose to ponder on negative thoughts you're gonna start feeling negatively and you're gonna start thinking negatively and that's just what it is y'all like I'm, i can't tell y'all nothing but what I feel is the truth. We can't entertain thoughts that are contrary to where we want to be. If you want to feel better, you want a better life, you can't entertain thoughts that are going to make you feel bad because it will cause you to be depressed. Go outside. Look at, look at the beauty that is. I know it's hard. There's so many things going on in this world, but there's a lot of things to be grateful for. You know, there's you have to find those things that that you know those things that you can be appreciative of for example I want to move I want a bigger place you know there's things that I want in my life that I don't have and that at the moment you know what we really want you know we may not be able to afford or it's just a lot of things that can kind of you know hinder that process or whatever and I had to stop and really I had to stop and really just be grateful for the things that I have because there was a time y'all where I didn't have anything you know when I first came home as a stay-at-home mom I didn't have a a camera to do my videos I didn't have lighting I didn't even have a, a laptop to edit my videos I did everything from my cell phone everything 
No, I didn't have anything. And so I found myself being kind of like discontent, you know, and sad and like, dang, I want more for my family. And it's just natural for a mother to, and even for a father, anyone in the family to want more for their family. It's just natural. And I had to literally just start thanking God, walking around my house and looking at everything that he's done for us and just thinking about where we've come and, you know, being able to just go out and take my family out to eat. You know, we go out to eat, we get to do different things. Being able to travel and do those things. I had I had to stop and be grateful for those things because there was a point where that wasn't even a thought. You know what I mean? That wasn't an option. That wasn't a thought. And those little things, being grateful for those little things will save you from being discontent. We have to practice being content with ourselves. You know, I advise people not to be on social media too much. You know, take a break every now and then when you start feeling yourself, you know, being like too involved in it. Take a break. Take a break and just allow yourself to get back to reality. I think one of the hardest things in this life is being content because the flesh is never satisfied. It always wants more and more and more. No matter how much you get what you actually like want it, you still gonna want more. And I think that's one of the biggest issues with our generation right now is just the lack of not being content. I don't know how I'm feeling my makeup. Talking and doing my makeup is not easy. And don't think that people that you watch on YouTube or that people that you follow on social media. Don't think that they're perfect, y'all. They, they're still human. They poop like you, fart like you, take a whiz like you. Like, they're human at the end of the day. When they wake up in the morning, their breath stinks too. So don't put them on this high pedestal at all. You know, all this, like, goals this and goals that. You know, wanting your life to be like somebody based off of what you see on a picture. You don't know how that person lives their life day to day like you, you just don't know i think yes yeah, it's one of those things where it's always you know wanting to wanting to obtain what you see other people have um as opposed to what really is what's needed for you we're not gonna all have the same things or live the same life it's just not gonna happen to be content so you that you're not effective with this epidemic of depression you know walk around your house and just just be like, damn, I'm so thankful for this. I'm thankful. It may not be where I want to be, but I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for whatever I have. You may not have a car. I'm thankful that I have some means of public transportation. I have my legs to walk. I have something. You know, don't let society, especially this American dream that's not even a reality, that people feel like, you know, every person in this world should have these things in order to be deemed successful and it's not true success is personally measured and we make success monetary thing when clearly it's not any it there's more to life than that because there's people who have a lot and they take their lives and i always look at that if someone with everything can take their life they're telling us that things aren't really that important that there's more to life that things cannot fulfill. Money cannot fulfill. Having a big house cannot fulfill. Having, you know, the best body cannot fulfill. There's people out there with what this world deems as, you know, the perfect life. And they take their life because there's more to life than these things. Keep your eyes on what, what God has for you and not so much on what he's doing for other people. I definitely want to do more, more um, discussion videos. I have a lot of thoughts that just run in my head. You know what I mean? I like literally have a lot of thoughts. And me and my sister were talking about a lot of stuff. We were talking about just being, you know, this whole thing with women in singleness. And, you know, talk about a lot of, we be having some deep discussions. You feel me? I'm not one of those people who is afraid to speak my mind. Like, I don't care if people agree or don't agree. I just I don't care. You are entitled to disagree you're entitled to agree just you know keep it cute that's all i'm saying is just keep it cute don't be disrespectful because you don't agree there's a lot of things i don't agree with but i'm not going to disrespect nobody who don't believe in what i believe you feel me i just keep it cute guys i think i'm gonna i think i'm just in this makeup look because i'm not feeling it like i'm really not expect more expect more discussion videos expect a lot more videos obviously you guys know i love 
hair and I love beauty and fashion and all of that. But your girl got a brain and I do use it. And I like to I like to talk and I wish this day and age wasn't so petty. You know, it's it's funny because you know, I don't know if any of you guys took up debate in high school, but debate really taught you how to state your opinion and listen to someone else's opinion and have a disagreement and have an argument after the person states their fact and you come and you rebuttal that but it was very just like professional it wasn't this like bashing and name calling and getting so in your feelings because no one agrees with you that's that's a sign of imm immaturity when you can't when you can't disagree with someone without being all in your feelings like it's uh, it's okay to not believe in what someone else believes in just don't disrespect the person but i know for a fact that i think differently than the masses and i'm i'm totally cool with that i actually prefer thinking differently i actually prefer not being like everyone else and not being so you know i just I just prefer it that way. I, you know, I get told a lot, you know, by business people that I need to be more active on social media. And, you know, you need to do more social media stuff. You need to get, create this account and that account. And I'm just like, that's not me. I'm not going to do something. Like, I don't, I don't really care about all of that stuff. You know, they're like, oh, you can get more views if you, you can get more views and you can get more followers you can get more sponsored videos you know if you would open up this account and that account and do all this if you guys only knew how much that stuff doesn't matter to me like I said before my sanity matters more and the things that are on social media I just can't I just can't I just cannot for any bloggers vloggers and stuff be careful on social media you can get so comfortable where you say the wrong things and that stuff will spread like a wildfire, okay? You have to not put your... That means you need another outlet other than social media. When every feeling you have has to be put on social media, something is... De you need a friend to talk to or you need, you need to pray or something. It's like social media has people basically like puppets and social media is a puppet master whatever it puts out there it's just basically controlling you as if i didn't spray my face enough but i guess i'll just spray it again this lip liner is bomb i'm gonna overline a little bit basically you guys i just want you to know that we got to be content more. We have to be grateful more. That's how you can avoid depression, anxiety, and all those different things. Um, eating the right foods, exercise, you know, even, even relationships that you have issues with within your family or whatever, any bad blood, taking care of that stuff will help in the end. It'll help you. All right, you guys, that is all for this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like these type of chatting videos where I do my makeup, let me know down below and um, in the comment section, you know, chat it up with me. Let me know if you like these videos because I'll, I'll do more. I'll do more of them because I do like being able to chat with you guys and just talk because we're friends, y'all. Like, we're like this, and I like to... Nice to be able to talk to you guys every now and then. For a list of products that, you know, like what I'm wearing, my hair, even though this this hair is gorgeous, right? Check the description box. I'll have it down there, especially like, you know, my makeup and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of anything else, and I don't think, I don't think I'm missing anything. I do want to know um, what you guys, have you guys ever dealt with depression? If you have, let me know. What was the main thing that was causing your depression? Um, let me know if you, if you overcame it or if you're still struggling. Um, I love to be able to hear, let's talk, and I love to be able to hear your experience with depression because we've all been there before. Um, some of us are still dealing with it, so any way that we can help each other, let's do it. That's all, and I'll see you guys in my next video.